Hey guys, so after the Filthy 150, um, I took a week off training. Um, the reason is, is I kind of just wanted to take a week off, do nothing. Uh, but I've been, two months prior, I've planned my new program, which is now starting today. So I've been training for quite some time, doing a lot of kind of crossfit style movements, uh, strength work, Olympic weightlifting, gymnastics. And it can take its toll on the body. It definitely takes its toll on my body regarding training. So today's blog is going to be about my training session and my new program. Uh, so I'm going to a three day strength cycle um, for 10 weeks. Uh, we're going to go literally back to basics of squat bench deadlift uh, with accessories uh, afterwards. Uh, we're going to do one gymnastic session a week to kind of really, really refine my technical movement. And then on Saturdays will be more of a bodybuilding style program. Uh, maybe some strongman sandbags, rope, rope pulls, uh, sled pushes. Any conditioning that I do will either be on a skier, a rower, or a salt bike, maybe a run. Max would be 20 minutes. Uh, it could be intervals, it could be uh, steady state cardio, but it's going to be nothing too crazy. And it's just 10 weeks to get a little bit stronger, get my shoulders feeling good, get my hips feeling good. And today is the start. We're starting with deadlifts, we're starting with. Um, Working off 90, 95% max uh, and doing 80% 80, 80 for two sets of five and then we go down to accessories which you'll see in the video. Um, again, it's just to get stronger. So today's vlog is about my training. Uh, I'll do a few more as the program gets better. Also gonna put in my flexibility and hopefully you'll see my flexibility today and in 10 weeks you should see a, a massive improvement in my flexibility. So, deadlift's done. Um, so I had to, as I said, uh, I was working up to 165 for uh, two sets of five. First set felt good, second set didn't feel good. I'm starting stopping every rep, no touching goes allowed. Proper, like, absolute movement. Uh, felt like I was rounding my back a little when I watched back the video, I'll probably see if I was. Uh, but it was good. So now, some bent over rows, um, some shrugs, uh, some rowing, and home, food, rest of the day. So weights are done, uh, feeling good because we did a, a bit of bodybuilding uh, on the back, so I feel a little bit jacked, a little bit shoulder shrugging. I don't know when the last time I actually did shoulder shrugs. Uh, so now, it's the funny bit, flexibility. So I'm trying to increase range of motion of my hips because I really have very, very tight hips. So uh, yeah, this is going to be fun to watch. So when it comes to flexibility and mobility, my not amazing at it, never have been. Put in some work, but not enough work. So I've decided to give myself a challenge by my 36th birthday, which is March, to do a pancake, uh, get the hips really flexible, and get my shoulders uh, back strong. So the exercise I want to do is called the pancake, right? That's where your legs are spread wide, and you can lie your whole body down, and your chest touches the floor. This is where I am. This is me. 
Okay, as you can see, my legs are not wide. This is extremely tight here, and I cannot lean forward like this. This is, this is tough, right? I need someone to help me. So, I went online, looked at some tutorial videos, and this is what I'm going to be doing. So using the elevated seat helps me lean a little bit better, okay? Less pressure into the hip. I can get my feet wider, which is good. And what I'm gonna use the kettlebell to help lean me. Now the main thing is I I'm not to round over, right? So the key is the rounding over is a false sense of movement. So I wanna stay straight, stay tall. Putting the bell on my back. And then I'm just focusing on my breathing. I'm just leaning forward till I feel the stretch. Coming back. I got this for about two minutes. So training went well, training's done. It was nice just to kind of do the movements, not have to push, not have to like crush myself with a mech on, uh, feel gassed out. I got the lift, felt good with the deadlift. There was a little bit of a rounded back, what you'll see in the video, or you've seen in the video, uh, but I'll fix that. I know that that happened. Um, didn't get to record the row, ran out of footage. This is a new um, memory card. Uh, so I didn't get to do that. I thought I was recording, but it turns out I didn't. Uh, flexibility felt good. The program feels good. Um, it's a goal to March. So there's no Olympic weightlifting till March. Um, just pure, like just strength training, bodybuilding, uh, mobility, and gymnastics. Very little conditioning, as I said at the start of the video. But I'm happy with the session. I feel good. Feel like I've got a good workout. But I didn't have to like be on the floor in a puddle of sweat to feel like I did a good workout, which is what a lot of people tend to think, is that you need to be on the floor um, after a workout sweating and you're uh, like lying in a pool of your own sweat, which is not necessarily, not necessarily the case if you want a really, really good workout. You can do really good workouts without like pushing yourself to that red line, which is um, it's good to do every now and again. You don't, you, you can't sustain that like hard push every single day of the week. Uh, there has to be lighter days, there has to be lighter weeks in regards to how you change things up. And we try to do that here at FSM. But I said in the last blog that I came up with an idea to help, and now it's, not, no, it's nothing new as a coach, if you're watching this, you, it's nothing new, but for explaining stuff to your clients, I think I'm onto something. So this is what I think I'm onto something here. In regards to the, uh, what I'm thinking is the human body is, is a machine and it works as one. All the muscles work as one. All the major muscles work. So if one muscle is not working, then the other muscles won't work uh, or the other muscle has to compensate. And I'm looking at that image that I just showed you there. Now it's not final there, but I'm, I'm playing with it. I've kind of run through with a few people and they, they kind of, they agree. I'm trying to make things simple. And, and I always go back to um, what I've learned from Coach Dan John is, even though a lot of stuff we do can be complicated, it's our job as coaches to simplify everything that we do. And I think what I'm onto here regarding body structure and body balance, which is functional strength movements, my principle for my company is structurally balancing our clients, then I think I'm kind of hitting it. So there's 11 blocks, okay? Now I'm gonna give you a quick insight into it. It's not necessarily finished yet. It's not a finished product. It's what I'm starting to work on, but sure, you'll see it as, a, as it rolls on the vlogs. So there's 11 blocks, right? So you got your calves, your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back, your lats and your shoulders. If one of those major muscle groups is off, not working, can't activate, then you have an issue. So I, like one of my, and this came from working with a client yesterday, a one-to-one uh, -one client. And what I found is, is that that client 
out of those 11 blocks had five muscles activating out of all the testing we did. We do, I have two tests so far. I think I'm gonna have four total. Uh, but out of the tests that we did, I got five muscles activating. Now after I pushed through the test, I got a sixth and a seventh activated. And then when I was explaining it to her, I was showing her like, here's 11 blocks, five are working, the rest six aren't. Um, so we need to activate all these to make your body more structurally balanced and structurally strong. And she was like, that makes so much sense. And from there, I was kind of like, well, that's simple. That's a simple thing. So what I'm going to be doing is going to look a little bit more into that and hopefully develop something that will help my clients and any client I ever work with to understand structure, body strength, body structure, body balance. And then with the tests that I'm going to use, now these are tests that I've, I've been given from other people or coaches I've learned over the years, stuff that I, I've just seen with clients. And I think that I can, with this, I can get people to understand the extra work that they need to do before like, oh, I, I want to come in, I want to compete, I want to come in, I want to lift this much weight. And then I can go, well, this is what's firing, this is what's not firing. We need to get everything working before you can achieve your goal. Make them understand that, make them better, make them stronger, longevity of life, functional strength, movement is the goal. Let's see what happens. I'm actually quite excited about it, okay? If you watched this blog and you got to the end of the video, uh, yeah, watch the space. Forgot one thing, right? So the, uh, today's vlog is officially done. I'm not gonna record anything else because I'm off for the weekend. I'm gonna uh, go home, spend time with my family. Um, but a few, a few things that I'm kind of excited about. I got my show back. I've got some good interviews lined up. There's some really good guys lined up actually. One on business and how to make money. This guy helped me make money, how, how, helped me turn my company around actually from last year, which is something I'm gonna let you in on in a couple of months on what happened last year. Uh, I recorded it and now I'm gonna show you uh, how it went. Uh, pretty, pretty bad set of affairs actually. Um, back. Uh, nearly over a year ago, uh, where we were, where I was, uh, financially, mentally, physically, um, and how it's changed in 12 months. And I got the right help. And one of the guys going to be in the show, I must give him a lot of credit for helping me get there. And then the other guy is uh, the fittest man in Ireland. I um, just spoke to him. Jamie Heaton is well up for being on the show. Uh, it'll be in a few weeks, though. Well, yeah, it'd be cool to have him. So insights in how to train, what he does, how he does it. And if you want to be the best in the country, what you need to be doing for CrossFit. All right, guys, have a great weekend, long weekend, bank holiday. Enjoy yourself, have, spend time with your family, go do something new, be more, lift more, uh, be nice to people, and um, live a good life.